It heard the Supreme Court today say that the BCCI must accept changes. It said that there will be no ministers or 70 plus members in the cricket board. My colleague Nikhil Naz is with me. Nikhil, there may be just no option before the board, but finally all in line with all that the Supreme Court has been saying. Well, Natasha, cricket as we knew it in India is about to change. That's how it's been governed for so many years by the BCCI. All that has now changed with the Supreme Court verdict. After all the recommendations made by the three-member Lodha committee, let's run our viewers through what are the key recommendations and what will now have to be implemented by the BCCI. Now, remember in April 2015, the Lodha panel uh, sends an 82-point questionnaire to the BCCI. Then the Lodha committee recommends complete overhaul of Indian cricket. This happened in January 2016, almost a year after they formed that committee. Then Lodha committee recommends formation of a players association. Now these, remember, are only recommendations. Then BCCI asked state association to study the Lodha report. Uh, this is again all in January. Then in February, a month later, BCCI appoints, uh, 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 appoints out to certain differences in the Lodha report, which they're not happy with, and points those out in the court. Then Mumbai Cricket Association approved Approaches Supreme Court against the Lodha panel recommendations, arguing that not everything can be implemented. Then BCCI files affidavit listing recommendations it does not agree with. This is in March of 2016. Then in April 2016, Supreme Court slams BCCI's method of uh, distributing funds. It says that why certain associations are not given the same money as certain important associations like the Northeast. Then the Supreme Court firm on the age cap of 70 for an administrator. This despite all the resistance put by the BCCI. This happens in April of 2016. Then a month uh, or two months later, Supreme Court reserves its judgment and then eventually we've got uh, on July 18, 2016, Supreme Court accepts most of the recommendations. It's a very good Indian cricket के लिए भी और Indian sport के लिए भी आ, हमारे एक साल की मेहनत रंग लेकर आई है आ, cricket fan बहुत खुश होंगे game भी बहुत अच्छा रहेगा administration भी बेहतर होगा so game के लिए शर्तियाँ बेहतर दिन है ये ये कैसे decide कर सकते थे कि बिहार इतना बड़ा राज्य है उसके बच्चे cricket नहीं खेलेंगे तो आज जो सर्वोच्च न्यायालय के फैसला आया है उसे मैं बिहार के तरफ से क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन और बिहार के पिटिशनर होने के नाते एक्सेप्ट करता हूं और उम्मीद करता हूं कि अब क्रिकेट के अच्छे दिन आज से शुरू हो गए द बीसीसीआई वाज यूनाइटेड अलायंस यूनाइटेड इन करप्शन अलायंसेस ऑफ पोजीशंस एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन ऑफ दिस ऑल आई थिंक इज द मिनिस्टर्स एंड द द द गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल द ब्यूरोक्रेट्स कैन नॉट बी एनीवेयर um in the board of any association or the bcci because since these people came in uh the basic corruption started bcci had some grievance some of them later met also i don't know what exactly has happened because am among all the sports bodies in the country bcci is still the best governed one and if they get reformed even further i i really think this is a forerunner for the reform of the other sports associations